If you've ever marveled at the power of nature to conceal and preserve, then prepare to be astonished by what lies frozen in time, waiting beneath the ice. Freezing temperatures have acted as a time capsule, perfectly preserving discoveries that were never meant to be unearthed. While the science of cryopreservation seeks to harness these conditions to save lives in the future, the icy depths have already kept secrets for millennia. From meteorites hailing from Mars to mammoths frozen in time, the cold has cloaked items of wonder and mystery. Join us as we reveal 15 things found frozen in ice that were hidden from the eyes of history. Number 15. The Stendek Vanishing August 2, 1947 began uneventfully for British South American Airways Flight CS-59, carrying six crew and five passengers from Buenos Aires to Santiago. Yet, as the plane neared its destination, Chilean radio operators received a bizarre transmission from the crew, Stendek, before all communication abruptly ceased with the aircraft. Never arriving in Santiago, a shocking realization set in, Cess 59 had mysteriously vanished mid-flight, deep into the Andes Mountains. In the years following the disappearance, the baffling transmission spawned conjecture ranging from paranormal events to sabotage. Some speculated Stendek was a desperate coded message, but the missing Avro Lancastrian, its passengers, and cargo remained an impenetrable mystery for over 50 years until Glacier Recession High in the Andes finally revealed their secret in 1998. Mountaineers discovered scattered debris on Tupungata Glacier, confirming that CS-59 fatally crashed into the icy mountainside in low visibility on that fateful night. Frozen in place and time, the wreckage and personal effects bore silent witness to the plane's tragic end. Yet, even after the crash site was located, the enigmatic word, Stendek, mystified investigators. Some believe the radio operator misheard or accidentally sent the cryptic transmission in the crew's final moments as they futilely battled worsening weather and instrument failure. Though its exact origins remain obscure, the distress call encapsulated the terror of those final minutes of the flight before the Andean ice entombed its secrets for half a century. Number 14. Ancient Plant Resurrected in 2012, Russian researchers made an astonishing find buried in Siberia's frozen ground, perfectly preserved seeds from 32,000 years past. Planted in soils under laboratory conditions, these Ice Age seeds sprouted into a flowering plant thought, extinct for millennia, Silene stenophylla, a species of flowering campion. The seeds originated in fossil squirrel burrows located 125 feet deep in Siberian permafrost, where cryogenic preservation preserved the fruit and seeds for over 30,000 years, with viability intact. Classified as an angiosperm, the campion is the oldest mature flowering plant ever regenerated. Modern radiocarbon dating confirmed the seed's age as 31,800 years old, meaning they were buried during the Pleistocene. Once recovered, scientists successfully germinated the seeds and grew healthy, second-generation plants indistinguishable from modern samples. The Ice Age seed was able to travel forward in time, its life cycle paused in deep freeze before continuing into the modern era. The Campion's revival has major implications for understanding plant extinction cycles, seed longevity mechanisms, and even the future utilization of ancient genetic material in crop cultivation or species revival. Number 13. Frozen Wolf Pup In 2016, an astonishing discovery emerged from the Klondike gold fields of Canada's Yukon. Miners excavating permafrost came across the immaculately preserved body of a wolf pup that roamed the region during the Ice Age. Buried and frozen for over 50,000 years, this female pup was mummified by the icy conditions, creating an unprecedented snapshot of ancient life in the far north. Nicknamed Zur by locals, meaning wolf in the traditional language, the 57,000-year-old pup is the most complete wolf mummy ever found in North America. At only seven weeks old when she died, Zur's body was about the size of a modern wolf cub, but she belonged to an extinct subspecies. Weighing seven pounds and measuring 16 inches in length, her body and fur remain in nearly pristine condition. She even retains intact claws, muzzle, and teeth. Carbon dating of collagen in her bones reveals Zur lived during the late Pleistocene before woolly mammoths and other megafauna vanished. Isotopic analysis indicates she was raised on a diet of fish from nearby rivers, explaining her smaller size compared to Ice Age wolves subsisting on large prey. CT scans uncovered her last meal, preserved in her stomach, fish, likely salmon. Number 12. Antarctic Ice Fish Meet Antarctic Ice Fish Scaleless, bloodless, colorless, perfectly adapted to their frigid abyssal home. Isolated for millions of years, over 20 different ice fish species inhabit the Southern Ocean, encircling Antarctica. Their see-through skin and unique biology allow them to thrive in an ultra-cold, oxygen-rich environment that would kill most fish. 
Ice fish blood stands apart for having no hemoglobin, the protein that transports oxygen in other vertebrates. Instead, their blood contains antifreeze proteins, which prevent ice crystals from forming. Their hearts are enlarged to pump more plasma, but the absence of hemoglobin makes their blood paler than that of any other vertebrate. Sinuous blood vessels distributed across their skin and organs give ice fish a ghostly white appearance. Lacking scales, ice fish skin feels velvety and flexible. Their bones are thin with softer cartilage. Buoyant and boneless, they swim with undulating, fluttery motions, using their large pectoral fins. Their tubular eyes assist with prey detection in the dimly lit depths where they reside. Drifting silently like spirits of the deep, ice fish are shimmering specters specialized for their secluded frozen world. After millions of years in isolation, this is the bizarre form they evolved into. But their delicately balanced biology also renders them vulnerable to modern disruptions. As climate change warms and acidifies their habitat, the future for these otherworldly Antarctic natives remains uncertain. Perhaps one reason they first evolved such strange adaptations was to prepare them to survive a rapidly changing planet. Then as now. Number 11. The Andre Expedition. On July 11, 1897, three intrepid Swedish explorers lifted off in a hydrogen balloon to embark on a daring journey to the North Pole. Led by engineer Salomon August Andre, the expedition aimed to be the first to reach the pole by air. Their audacious plan involved flying from Svalbard directly over the pole to Russia or Canada in their balloon, the Eagle. However, their voyage met disaster when unpredictable winds pushed them wildly off course. Lost and stranded on the Arctic pack ice, the fate of Andre and his two companions remained an enduring mystery for 33 years until an astonishing discovery in 1930. Chancing upon the expedition's last camp on White Island revealed the shocking truth. All three men perished just two months into their polar quest. Uncovered artifacts like diaries, equipment, and even undeveloped photographs immortalized their tragic demise. After dragging sleds southwards across the drifting ice with scant provisions, records show the men eking out a miserable existence in their final months, succumbing to the harsh environment while clinging to fragile hopes of rescue. The uncanny preservation of the lost expedition, after over three decades entombed on White Island, fascinated the world in 1930. Their story, ambition, and demise during a golden age of polar exploration returned to haunt the public imagination. Disinterment and reburial of the men in Sweden drew crowds of 30,000 mourners, honoring their sacrifice. Number 10. Sleeping Gators. A sinister sight awaits winter paddlers venturing into North Carolina's swamplands. Rows of snouts lining banks and ponds, unmoving, jaws gaping. Yet, the stillness belies the danger. These are not the frozen dead but living alligators, survived by a remarkable adaptation called brumation. When frigid conditions arrive, alligators instinctually know to position themselves with their snouts raised above the water's surface before the wetlands freeze over. Once ice forms several inches thick, trapping them underneath, they enter a state of brumation. Their metabolism slows to a crawl. An alligator's body temperature naturally cycles with external conditions, allowing their internal temperature to plummet in sync with the ice. This enables them to hibernate in suspended animation, their snouts barely pushing through in this icy tomb. The reptiles remain largely inactive, taking no food for months. Studies show their metabolism decreases by up to 70% while iced. By entering brumation, the cold-blooded creatures conserve energy and survive until spring's thaw brings warmth and prey once more. Positioned snout above water lets them breathe, while their armored underbellies insulate vital organs against freezing temperatures. Come springtime, slumbering alligators revive and break through weakened ice to resume their apex predator role in the marsh ecosystem. Number 9. Martian Meteorite Over 61,000 meteorites have so far been discovered on Earth, only around two hail from Mars. These rare fragments originate from material blasted off Mars's surface by asteroid impacts to eventually traverse interplanetary space and land on Earth. In January 2021, researchers recovered an exceptionally well-preserved Martian meteorite in Antarctica's ice fields. The 18th found in this frigid province, designated Allen Hills 84001. This meteorite weighs 7 ounces, relatively large for Martian meteorites, which typically span just fractions of an ounce. The space rock formed out of Martian basaltic magma 4 billion years ago but was ejected from Mars around 5 to 10 million years ago after an impact, likely by the asteroid that formed the Zunal crater on Mars. Its pristine composition offers scientists an invaluable window into Mars's early crust and subsequent evolution over eons. Allen Hills 84001 contains 10 to 30 times more water than most Martian meteorites, as well as organic carbon compounds. These microscopic features indicate ancient Martian microbial life, 
which would constitute unprecedented evidence of alien life forms. Researchers also confirmed its cosmic voyage by matching its composition to surface rocks analyzed by NASA's Curiosity rover, billions of miles away. Number 8. The Ginger Mammoth Woolly mammoths rank among the Ice Age's most iconic creatures, yet one remarkably preserved specimen found in Siberia stunned researchers for its unique coloration, never before seen in ancient mammoths. With its strawberry blonde fur still intact across its body, this juvenile was dubbed Yuka, the Ginger Mammoth. Yuka was discovered in 2010 by Siberian ivory hunters who spotted parts of its leg protruding from the permafrost. Once excavated, the 10,000-year-old mummy was revealed to be a one-and-a-half-year-old female, relatively small compared to other mammoths. While often depicted as brown, analysis of melanin pigments in Yuka's follicles confirmed her ginger coloration was real, not a distortion of time. This color phase likely evolved to camouflage calves against a red-tinged landscape. But more astonishing were slash marks and missing bones, suggesting humans butchered Yuka, one of the earliest known mammoth-human interactions. Cut marks on her body match Stone Age tools, indicating ancient Siberians scavenged this mammoth calf after it became trapped in mud. The fact that Pleistocene humans dared confront and dismember these elephant relatives demonstrates their ingenuity and hunting prowess, long before mammoths finally vanished into extinction. Number 7. Moulins. Deep in the Antarctic interior, a hidden wonder lurks beneath the ice. A secret network of tunnels boring all the way through entire glaciers from surface to bedrock below. These vertical conduits are known as moulins or glacier mills, due to their likeness to industrial grain mills when viewed in cross-section. Ranging from narrow shafts to yawning pits up to 65 feet wide, moulins form where surface meltwater concentrates into torrential streams, eroding straight down through the ice. They act as the plumbing system of glaciers, transporting vast quantities of water to lubricate and accelerate seaward ice flow. Moulins exemplify the dynamic nature of seemingly static glaciers. Their numbers and size fluctuate seasonally as surface melting creates new ones while old moulins shrink or seal off. Glacial motion causes stresses that open new cracks, permitting new moulins to form. In polar climates, their numbers peak during summer months when 24 hours of sunlight melts snow and ice to sculpt new conduits. When the meltwater supply recedes in winter, many moulins drain and close until sufficient surface melting recurs to carve more. While an extensive moulin network honeycombs beneath the glacial surface, most moulins cannot be directly observed once formed. Only large or recently drained ones permit explorers a glimpse into these hidden ice gorges. Nevertheless, moulins play a crucial role in regulating glacial dynamics and discharging meltwater. Understanding how climate change may alter patterns of surface melting, and thus moulin abundance, is key to predicting ice sheet stability and contributions to rising seas in a warming world. Even invisible, these glacial plumbing systems are central actors in Earth's frozen realms. Number 6. Ancient Giant Virus In the vast, icy expanse of Siberia, an ancient entity lay dormant beneath layers of permafrost, biding its time through the millennia. This remarkable find came to light in 2014 when French researchers delved into the icy depths unearthing a giant virus that had slumbered undisturbed since the last ice age, some 30,000 years ago. Named Pithivirus cybericum, this virus challenges our understanding of microbial survival, demonstrating an astonishing ability to withstand the passage of time. Unlike the more familiar viruses that afflict humanity, such as influenza or measles, Pithivirus belongs to a class of giant viruses, characterized by their substantial size and complex genetic makeup. The discovery that pithivirus could remain latent in the frozen tundra, only to revive and begin replicating once thawed, was both fascinating and unsettling. It was extracted from a depth of 30 meters below the Siberian frost, a testament to its endurance, and in laboratory conditions, it demonstrated its potency by infecting single-cell amoebas with ease. This revelation has since ignited a flurry of scientific interest, prompting questions about what other viral giants might lie in wait within Earth's changing landscapes. The concern among the scientific community has grown, particularly in light of climate change and the resultant melting glaciers, which could potentially release unknown pathogens back into the environment. Moreover, the reawakening of Pithivirus cybericum serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance that exists between Earth's biomes and the organisms that inhabit them. As the planet warms and previously inaccessible areas become exposed, the possibility of encountering other ancient viruses increases. This scenario underscores the importance of vigilant monitoring and research to understand the potential risks associated with these long dormant viruses. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. During an adventurous trek through the secluded mountains of southern Siberia, two amateur hikers stumbled upon a discovery that seemed to defy time itself. As they navigated the rugged terrain, 
they encountered a figure, motionless and encased within the ice, a sight both eerie and fascinating. Initially mistaking it for a contemporary hiker who had tragically succumbed to the harsh elements, they soon realized that the truth was far more intriguing. The frozen form before them held secrets from a distant past, prompting them to alert the authorities. Upon examination, law enforcement quickly recognized the significance of the find and enlisted the expertise of archaeologists to unravel its mysteries. The analysis revealed that the body was not a recent victim of the wilderness, but an ancient relic, its flesh and attire preserved by the ice for nearly 3,000 years. This astonishing level of preservation opened a window into a long-forgotten era, sparking excitement and curiosity among the scientific community. Researchers are now meticulously examining the ancient individual, seeking clues to understand their life, the era they lived in, and the circumstances surrounding their death. The remarkable state of preservation offers a rare opportunity to gain insight into the past, from dietary habits to cultural practices, potentially shedding light on the broader historical context of the region during that period. This extraordinary find not only captivates the imagination with its direct link to humanity's ancient past, but also prompts a re-evaluation of what we know about the history and prehistory of this remote part of the world. The discovery invites speculation and debate among both scholars and the public, stirring a sense of wonder about the lives of those who walked the Earth millennia ago. We're eager to hear your thoughts on this incredible piece of history unveiled by the melting ice. What do you think the investigation will reveal about the ancient individual and their world? Share your theories, questions, and reflections in the comments below and join us in marveling at the mysteries that our planet still has to offer. Number 5. Viking Apparel High in Norway's Jotunheimen Mountains, a stunning archaeological treasure recently emerged a remarkably preserved tunic dating back over a thousand years to the Viking Age. Discovered in a melting ice patch of Lenbreen, this wool and leather garment provides a striking window into Nordic clothing craftsmanship and livelihoods many centuries past. In 2011, archaeologists excavating the receding edge of an ice patch stumbled upon the tunic, which lay entombed within the icy sediments for over a millennium. Radiocarbon dating estimates it originates from between 230 and 390 AD, during Scandinavia's transition from the late Roman Iron Age to the medieval Viking era. Remnants of arrows, shoes, and even an ancient ski were found nearby. Despite its incredible age, the relics survived in astounding condition, thanks to the ice. The vivid blue and maroon diamond patterning woven into the wool still remains visible. Strips of leather act as trim and straps for tying. Arctic fox fur lines the tunic's neck opening for added warmth. Even more amazingly, Experts confirmed the tunic held parasites, such as lice, when buried, direct evidence of it being worn before the owner's untimely demise. Nearby, this remarkably preserved article of clothing provides invaluable insight into Norse society during an era bridging antiquity and the Viking Age. The cut and high-quality dyed wool indicate the owner's wealthy status. Its sight high in the remote mountains shows humans traversing the steep terrain with surprising frequency. Together with other emerging artifacts, the tunic illuminates who dared the harsh upland roots, why they did so, and even what clothing kept them alive. Number 4. Skeleton Lake This enigmatic site, nestled amidst the towering peaks of the Himalayas, not only tells a tale of unexpected tragedy, but also of the vast, interconnected web of ancient human migration and exploration. The presence of individuals with Mediterranean lineage so far from their ancestral home sparks intriguing questions about the nature of their journey, and the historical context that led them to this remote corner of the world. Could they have been on a trading mission, part of a lost expedition, or even early explorers drawn to the mysteries of the East? This revelation adds a layer of historical intrigue, suggesting a level of global interconnectedness and mobility among ancient civilizations that was previously underestimated. The diversity of the skeletal remains at Rupkund Lake serves as a poignant reminder of the unpredictable nature of human life, and the myriad paths that lead individuals to converge at a single point in history. Additionally, the dual timelines of the tragedies reflect the timeless hazard that the Himalayas represent to travelers, underscoring the region's beauty and its peril. As scientists continue to unravel the DNA strands of these ancient travelers, each discovery brings us closer to understanding the complexity of human history and the shared stories that bind us across continents and centuries. The Skeleton Lake remains a somber testament to the power of nature and the enduring mystery of human journeys, challenging our perceptions of the past and the incredible tales waiting to be discovered beneath the surface of our planet's most remote and unforgiving landscapes. Number 3. Black Ice Caves Along Iceland's southeast coast, a marvelous maze of caves beckons beneath the imposing Vatnajökull Glacier. Carved by centuries of meltwater winding through crevasses and moulins, 
these caves compose a shining subterranean world of otherworldly beauty, known as the Crystal Ice Caves. They are unlike most other caverns across the globe for one simple fact. They are composed completely of ice, formed by rivers of meltwater flowing down through the glacier each summer. The caves resemble hidden crystal palaces. Their walls, floors, and ceilings are made entirely of slick icy layers in hues from deep blue to crystal white. This natural architecture arises as surface meltwater plunges into vertical shafts called moulins or mills that penetrate deep down through the glacier. The rushing waters erode wide tunnels through the ice, which appear as skylit halls and passages to explorers. Venturing into the frozen labyrinth reveals a light-filled abyss of smooth, undulating ice and flowing reflections. The optical properties of the ancient compacted snow crystals comprising the walls make them gleam with organic, cloudy patterns, unlike normal clear ice. When lit by sunlight beaming through a moulin overhead, the halls assume an otherworldly aura. The caves wind for over 2.5 miles through the glacier's frozen bulk, their geometry dictated by the chaotic paths meltwater takes each year. Number 2. Ice 7. Over 20,000 feet beneath the Earth's surface, crushed by unrelenting pressures, common ice transforms into radically new forms unknown on Earth's surface. Here, locked in diamond anvils that focus pressure to millions of times atmospheric levels, scientists have synthesized bizarre phases of solid ice, radically unlike the hexagonal snowflakes of our everyday experience. The results are forms of ice that defy normal physics, Ice 7 and Ice X being two of the most astounding. Under crushing confinement, the crystalline structure of ice gets compacted into increasingly intricate arrangements as molecules crowd closer. In Ice 7, the familiar hexagonal lattice of Ice IH gets compressed into a cubic structure. Hydrogen atoms adopt a shifted position relative to oxygen atoms. If extreme pressure is released, Ice 7 explosively expands and converts back to conventional ice. In Ice X, the deformation is even more dramatic. The oxygens form a body-centered cubic lattice, while hydrogens occupy the spaces between them. It adopts a more tightly packed structure compared to low-pressure ice. Similar high-density forms of ice likely exist deep within icy moons and exoplanets. Tiny frozen grains in interstellar dust clouds may also conceal microcrystalline ice 7. By revealing water's protean nature, these quantum ices expand our conception of the countless exotic frozen worlds that likely litter the cold expanses of the universe. Number 1. Lost World of Lake Vostok The intrigue surrounding Lake Vostok extends far beyond its hidden waters. It embodies a realm where life defies the extremities of Earth, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the resilience and adaptability of life in its most extreme forms. Scientists, equipped with cutting-edge drilling technologies, have meticulously worked to ensure that their exploratory efforts do not contaminate this pristine environment, a testament to the lake's scientific value and the ethical considerations it necessitates. The microbial life discovered within its icy confines challenges our understanding of the biosphere, pushing the boundaries of life's capabilities and suggesting that life could exist in environments previously deemed uninhabitable. Furthermore, the lake's ancient water column, possibly untouched for millions of years, serves as a time capsule, holding secrets about Earth's climatic past and the evolutionary history of life on our planet. As researchers continue to analyze the genetic material extracted from these samples, they inch closer to unlocking the mysteries of Lake Vostok, potentially shedding light on the origins of life on Earth and the possibilities of life beyond our planet. 